This is my last of favorites list. This will be the Stephen Moffat era. Number 10, Mummy on the Orient Express. Nine, Deep Breath. Eight, Under the Lake Before the Flood. Seven, Time Heist. Six, Night Terrors. Are they dolls or are they what happens in a scary dollhouse? Five, the Snowmen, the third encounter for us, but the first for the great intelligence, with a handy map of the subway thrown in. Four, The Beast Below, Liz 10, London in Space, and what is the beast below? Three, The Doctor's Wife, the TARDIS really is alive, and she feels for the Doctor. Two, The Eleventh Hour. My favorite post-regeneration story. It has new and old, and one of my daughters, not I, has tried fish fingers and custard. Number one, and one of my favorite Doctor Who stories of all time, Vincent and the Doctor. Two stories of pain and suffering in one, with joy and extreme sadness. That's ten of favorites from the Stephen Moffat era. I know... There was no comment on any of the Peter Capaldi stories. I didn't find the Peter Capaldi era very memorable. I have watched only a small handful of the episodes more than once. It was just not what I wanted in television. Stephen Moffat gave us some of the very best Doctor Who there is. But I will sadly compare him to the John Nathan Turner era because they were both a progression of downhill from beginning to end. And sadly, this could lead to the end of the series again. Now, I do like Stephen Moffat in some of his other works. So let's recommend Coupling. Coupling can be found on Amazon Prime and on Hulu as part of your subscription. On Vudu, you can find it and rent at each episode. Thank you. I'm Terry, and this is my channel, TARDIS Spider. This will mostly be a Doctor Who-centric channel, but we will talk about other TV shows and movies that I enjoy. Now, I have been a Doctor Who fan since 1984. Doctor Who, along with British sitcoms, were broadcast on Saturday nights on Alabama Public TV. So it wasn't long before Saturday nights were reserved for Doctor Who. I recorded everything available and then found VHSs for purchase at the video store. Soon they were replaced by DVDs I purchased. So everything broadcast by Doctor Who I have in my possession, except for Jodie Whittaker. I get my Doctor Who today from either BritBox, which has all of the classic Doctor Who, or Amazon Prime, which carries New Who, with the latest episodes being available on a per episode rental basis. I will wait. I'm going to talk about other TV shows that I enjoy, being Red Dwarf, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Blake Seven. I watch a lot of YouTube. I discovered WhoTubers. Without WhoTubers, I wouldn't have had the inspiration to try and start a channel. I also learned that uh, some of the shows I like, fandom does not like. And some of the shows that fandom enjoys, I am not so fond of. And I also learned a lot about YouTube's opinion of Jodie Whittaker. It doesn't appear that most YouTube YouTubers are very fond of her. I will try to reserve judgment. Though I have my apprehensions as the series has been going downhill for several seasons now. So let's talk about Doctor Who, other TV shows we, we enjoy. I will try to recommend another show at the end of every video, usually containing an actor from the video we just made. So enjoy Doctor Who, enjoy television, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.